Folks, how's it going? This is just an unboxing my new 3D pen. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, what comes with it and all that stuff. And what I'm gonna do is actually do a compare and contrast in my next video of the Daiko pen. I might be saying that wrong, but I really like this thing. I'm really getting a 3D pen, so just go. let's go ahead and just hop right into it. And I'll just go ahead and continue to do some talking while I'm unboxing. So, <clears throat> on the channel, guys, if you want to continue to check me out, I do things like this. If I'm get if I get a new printer, I'll go do a video on Send It Up because I know Send Up things can always help somebody out. Somebody else who gets a new product and instructions aren't always great. And if it's so, if it's a 3D pen, 3D printer, or some type of new tech that takes um, mild expertise, I'll go ahead and unbox it and set it up. Whether it's soldering or things like that, I also I do creations, 3D prints. Um, and I like to usually make my own stuff because I'm so cheap. I'm just such a cheap person. Like my solder and pop video, if you guys want to check that out. Well, let's just get right into this awesome device. So, this had really good reviews. It had um, four and a half stars out of five on Amazon. I read really good things about the speed, like how fast it actually extrudes out, and then the size. Look at the like the size here. Man, I like how that look how that fits like a. I know I said I wasn't going to do a camera comparison in this video, but just look at that. Let's see what else we got in here. Comes with a little card. And this was sixty nine dollars. I don't know. I can't remember the price. It's like six, like sixty five to sixty nine dollars. But I'll put a link in the description. I'll put um the price on the thumbnail as well, so you guys can know what it is. But there we go. So this uses the this doesn't use the micro. It actually uses um like a barrel jack, which is pretty cool. I think that's a, a little more robust and it lasts a little longer. And the cord sticker as well compared to the other one. That's really awesome. All right, it came with two different type of filaments in a small quantity, only just these two. Um, now that's a small complaint I'm gonna give. These, maybe these are better quality PLA, who knows? But my other um, 3D print pill, um, pen came with six spools of primary colors, like six rolls and decent sized rolls of primary and six of like odd colors. So like 12 rolls all together, I believe it was. And I'm gonna show you an example right here. Like, look at, look at all this. And I've used a bunch of this, so this is just a little bit that's left, but they gave me a lot compared to this little bit that I'm getting right here. So that's already just something to point out. Well, like I said, I do, I do a full compare and contrast in the next video. Just like I gotta make this video quick, my good people, because like I said I do work a full time job, and um, I do have to be at work in pretty soon. Actually, better hit the hay pretty soon so I can be rested for work. Let's see. Yeah, so just a basic little instruction guide. Move this out of the way. Everything laid out. Move this. Yeah, it didn't come with the little stand either, so I guess that's not a problem with this. One. Maybe it doesn't need to be in a stand. Um, try for blah blah. blah. I've thought about doing this. Um, you know, Amazon sells like uh, 12 rolls of filament for the Amazon Basic brand. They sell like 12 rolls of it. I think it's like 60 bucks. So I'm um, 60 or 80 bucks. I can't remember. But it was a pretty good deal when I looked at it last. So instructions. A little card telling me to buy some more stuff. These two different PLAs. Power adapter. Pin itself. All right. 
I mean, this is a pretty good pen, just the feel and everything of it. Um, please stay tuned for my next video, guys. I'm gonna actually go through. I'm gonna compare it to my decal. I'm gonna show you guys like um, how it works and everything. I wanna try to get you guys some idea of what the extrusion and stuff is like, how much comes out and all that. Um, just everything, and I just do like like almost like a quick line test. And I'll just do one where I'm just like holding it up where something comes out. I don't know. But it's a good compare and contrast so you guys can see if it's worth spending a few extra bucks on this. Because since I initially bought this for 40 bucks, the decal, it actually went up in price. I think it's like 54 bucks now. So I want to go through and see if it's worth that 54 bucks to see if um it needed to stay at the 39.99 price point. And why did it go up when you can get this pan for, I think, like, what, $20 more or something like that? Cool. Well, that is it for this video, folks. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.